I am pretty convinced that whoever is going to end up being the seventh official Eon James Bond is very likely still going under the radar and isn't going to be a high profile actor you typically see on the list. We know Eon haven't even started their casting yet, so nobody knows, least of all bookmakers. That said, living in this awkward period of Eon seriously taking their time for Bond 26, I mean, No Time to Die finished production in 2019 and Eon are still acting like they just finished it last Christmas and desperately need to recharge first. We may as well talk about the potential actors you see mentioned for Bond all the time. And I picked five of them I could see as 007 and five of them I don't. And I will zigzag my way through them. Let's go. First off, no potential Bond actors list would be complete without Henry Cavill. And I never made it a secret in countless previous videos that I would totally be up for Cavill as Bond. As a matter of fact, I would go as far as saying he's the current best man for the job. Despite being a high profile actor and being Superman. But Cavill just has that Bond factor more so than any other actor on the list. You know how everybody seemed convinced Braston had the potential and deserved to be James Bond back in the 80s? People saw him as Bond before he even was Bond and I feel that is very similar nowadays with Cavill. Smooth with the ladies, badass when he needs to be, he has the perfect look, he could do the outlandish but you could also do the gritty with Cavill or a little bit of a mix of both. Definitely an actor who should be Bond. Another actor that always seems to be on these lists is Idris Elba. For one, he's the oldest on the list, currently 50 years old. I also did a whole video on should Bond be black that I don't want to get into for this video. But in short, I do believe having a Caucasian Bond matters for the identity of the character of who James Bond is. That said, and of course that's just my opinion, Elba's name does seem to have been linked to Bond for such a long time and I do think he could still be a fantastic addition to the franchise in another part. Maybe as the villain in the same way they used Sean Bean for 006, who was also in the running to be the next Bond in the 90s. Elba has a very commanding voice and intimidating presence when he needs to and he could be a fantastic physical threat for 007. But I just don't think he's right to be 007 himself. Here's an actor I mentioned in one of my videos as far back as seven years ago. For my current topic, Aiden Turner. I mean, if Craig doesn't return, I really hope it's gonna be this guy. I look back at the footage of that video and I have to say, I haven't really changed my opinion on him that much. You look at Aiden Turner and you just see the Bond qualities ooze through. He just has that classic Bond look, the Connery-esque brown hunter eyes with a hint of danger in there. Classic handsomeness, he's at the right age and he still isn't an A-list star, which could definitely work in his advantage. As much as Henry Cavill is currently my top pick, he's probably also a bit of a dream choice. And I think Turner is likely a more realistic pick that Eon might just set their eyes upon. And I for one would still totally be happy to see that happen. I never really understood the appeal to Tom Hiddleston as Bond though. I look at him and I just don't see it. He seems to lack the classical handsome look I associate with James Bond. In a way, Craig doesn't necessarily fit that category either, but he's very physically strong and charming in his own way. With Hiddleston, he doesn't seem to really fit those categories either. I struggle to find any Bond-esque qualities Hiddleston has to be suitable for the part. Maybe others can totally see it, but I'm simply not among those people. Another certain Tom H from England, Tom Hardy as Bond, would work particularly well when paired up with Christopher Nolan in my opinion. Obviously, Hardy is getting on a bit as well, and especially considering the current pace in which Eon is releasing Bond films. But if they were to somehow 
pick up the pace and do a preset trilogy, much like The Dark Knight, released in a tight schedule, then I feel Tom Hardy is such a brilliant choice. Tom Hardy is like Al Pacino and Johnny Depp in the sense that he always completely changes his appearance when he's playing a character. He wouldn't look like Tom Hardy in a tuxedo, he would completely transform into Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. For his age, I think he still looks fantastic and if Eon were to ever offer him the part, I have no doubt that Hardy would absolutely nail it. I think he would have that same effect as Daniel Craig did, where nobody can see him do it, but once he actually gets to do it, he would blow it completely out of the park. Aaron Taylor Johnson was only featured on Bond lists since, well, this year really, and he currently is quite the popular choice. I'm still not completely convinced though. I look at him and I still see that same geeky kid he portrayed in Kick-Ass, but now just with a beard on it. There's something still quite boyish about him that I don't think suits my idea of James Bond. That said, I also believe Aaron Taylor Johnson probably has the potential to change my mind and convince me otherwise. After all, I was among the people that didn't think Craig was suitable to become James Bond back in 2005. He definitely proved me wrong too. For now though, for me with Aaron Taylor Johnson, it's still a no. <coughs> Richard Madden has been on the list for quite some time, mostly for his performance in The Bodyguard and recently starring in the new Amazon spy series Citadel. For me, I'm kind of in between on him. On the one hand, he does possess most of the qualities. He's still very young, he's good looking, physically in shape and he can be very convincing portraying a suave spy. On the other hand, uh, and I can't really put my finger on this, he doesn't necessarily scream James Bond for me yet. I think he can do it though. Again, he does tick a lot of boxes. So for me, it's a bit of a benefit of a doubt that approves him. It's, uh, it's very flattering to be involved in that conversation at all, um, but it's all just talk. Um, and I'm sure next week it'll be someone different. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love what Taron Egerton did with the role as Exy in Kingsman. He was super funny, convincing, badass and smooth when he needed to be. I definitely hope to see him return in the next Kingsman installment. But for me, he's a perfect Exy. He's not James Bond. At least, not for now. Not yet. He's still way too boyish. It will be good to see how he ages and perhaps we should reevaluate him in a decade or so. But for now, he's a fantastic Exy. But no James Bond. Mm. As for someone who is a decade older, let's talk about Luke Evans. If Eon ever did decide to go with an older actor for Bond and again improve their pacing in which they release Bond films, then I'd say Luke Evans is also great and perhaps an overlooked pick. He didn't necessarily come to my mind as a top choice, but I certainly wouldn't hate it if he became Bond either. I can see the headlines of first gay actor to play Bond and stuff, but as long as he plays a straight Bond as the character is intended, then yeah, who cares? I can see it. He's in great shape, he looks good, he can do the suaveness. I think he would be a bit of a Craig-esque Bond that would pull off the lightheartedness too if he needed to. Lastly, Killian Murphy, who I think is a brilliant actor but is also getting on too much for the part of Bond, reaches his 50s now. But much like Idris Elba, I think he would make for a superb Bond villain. I can picture him in sort of a Le Chief type of part, or maybe more of the evil twisted genius type. I would still be very excited if he was ever brought on into Bond, just not as James Bond himself. <coughs> so that was my very quick look at 5 actors I can approve as James Bond and 5 I can't. Obviously there are way more actors to consider, but these were just some I wanted to share some quick thoughts on. 
I'm very curious to see who your favorite picks are to portray the next James Bond, whenever that ever happens. Thanks a lot for watching, please subscribe if you didn't, and see you guys in the next video.